Hello Leo and welcome to your April 2024 general reading. If you're new to my channel, Leo, welcome. I begin each reading by sharing my messages and visions received from spirit during meditation and this is what I got for you. Um, I am reaching a group of Leos and you know, this might be a small group, but it's an important message nonetheless. A group of Leos uh, feeling a little uncertain about um, approaching a person or group of people, I feel. I heard things are a little uncertain, but spirit will show you the way. So it could be that they're guiding you through signs, synchronicities, um, symbolism of some sort that's like, yes, yes, yes. Like at each point you're getting some sort of validation, like, yes, this is it. Yes, this is what to do. I then heard some of you are being prompted to make some relationship repairs, which will have really positive long-term effects. The image that I saw, I just saw one, two, three. The image I saw was of someone um, kind of on a riverbank and they were pulling on those waders, those tall rubber boots that kind of strap around your shoulder. So are you wading through deep emotional waters of whatever this is, Leo? Or are you wading through some other stuff? <laughs> you know, maybe you're knee deep in some stuff. And um, this is, okay, well, it's messy, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. Okay, Leo, let's see what spirit has for you. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or anybody cross-watching. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. I don't think he's wearing waders, but look at that. This person is standing in the water. Symbolism is unbelievable. Um, I just saw 222. Leo, I feel like if you have been through a significant challenge, wow loss and death, transformation more specifically. I think you're coming out of a difficult cycle or the, the evolution of what you are going to be addressing with another person is, is going to shift things significantly. So let's see what spirit has for you. Wow, that card, unbelievable. The readings, they're, they are off the charts. They've been off the charts. What is going on? I'm telling you, I feel, I feel this profoundly as a reader. And if, if you enjoy tarot, if it, you know, my channel and probably several others, um, you're probably noticing there's a huge shift in the messages. This isn't just your run of the mill, you know, um, I don't know. Mikey loves Becky, you know, or my, Becky's cheating on Mikey. I think that spirit is driving home some really, really powerful points. I really do. A lot of messages are super spiritual and all about positive transformation. At least, you know, I, I have felt it on my channel. I suppose it depends on, you know, the reader, but wow. Oh my goodness. So Leo, let's keep going. What's coming through for you? Okay, I heard keep going, oh my gosh. Or maybe that was for you. No, it's for me, oh gosh. There's a lot. Action. And I'm feeling that there's been a period of either stagnancy or resistance. I'm picking up a resistance and it's time to move. It's time to move on something. Your higher self family, friends, guides, great achievement. Yep, the garden and the gate, letting go. Um, a sima, the one where he was waiting in the water was let go or loss, I'm sorry, loss. So it feels to me like um, something is up to you. How things turn out is up to you. Are you going to step out of your comfort zone and do it? This absolutely could be vice versa. I'm, I'm absolutely not picking on Leo. Okay, here we go. Contract, hostilities, broken heart, dark thoughts. Oh, Leo, I'm sorry. 
We have adjacent possibilities, the door to personal healing and happiness, community and joyous fun. I just heard while it lasted. Oh, I, oh, I don't know what that means. Um, I think reparations need to be made. I think uh, th there are people coming through in this reading, and but mostly I'm feeling like it's from your perspective. I, I think a situation has become challenging, hurtful, contentious. Um, I'm hearing no way out <sighs> with this dark thoughts energy. You might have been in a maze of really challenging energies with the people around you, you know, and uh, this always seems to come through when we have a soul contract to play out with other people, to fulfill with other people. And, you know, maybe you've learned something from this and now it's like, okay, I, I see that the door is open to something beautiful. And, and maybe this joyous, fun energy is about reconnecting with those you love. You know, find that place in your relationships. And there, we have perhaps friendships, sisters, we have family, there's kids, mom, dad, and lots of kids, cousins. Maybe this is about restoration of your relationships with those you love and those who are close to you. And I, I do feel like whatever happened here, it could be a lingering energy around a falling out, um, bad decisions, having to kind of make something right, righting a wrong, figuring out how to get through the tough stuff. But you know, the tough stuff is what makes us stronger. And I always say, with this particular card, adjacent possibilities, um, there are doors that are closed. And maybe that's symbolic that there's relationships that you have to say goodbye to, people who have shut you out, or people you need to shut out. If these are people who aren't good for you, have caused you pain, and it's time to move on from that. And there are other doors opening. And I... I feel like, you know, it can only get better from here, but something can't be ignored. Yep. So let's get a couple other energies and then we'll break out the tarot. What does Leo need to know about this? New cycle. Changes for the better. Closures and new doors. Jumping on an opportunity. <laughs> Look at that bottom of the deck. There you are. The lion, resilience, strength, unstoppable. We have arrival, holding space for someone, waiting, anticipated connection. Whether this is um, a, a person you are hoping to see, meet for the first time, or reconnect with, it could be that there is, um, you know, an energy of wanting that escapism, can't deal, disconnecting from others, retreating, interesting. I do feel like there is a void between you and another or a group of people. And um, whatever has occurred, I, you know, I do feel like it might have been a decision you made that maybe wasn't agreed upon or that in some way might have neg negatively affected another person or you know this might have neg negatively affected you if someone else took that action and i i feel like there is oh gosh i'm getting so many downloads oh what was that what was that because i heard um there was a means to something like a means to an end. There was a justification of something and, and that was going to go somewhere. Okay, for now I lost it. I just want to keep this moving. So it, it could be that you just need to come to an understanding. I did this for that. I felt this way. I acted this way because I needed to, you know, it's almost like if you can smooth things over or repair 
that relationship or repair, you know, of a family unit or whatever it is, then I feel like um, you can come to a deeper understanding and, and maybe um, tear off the bandage and, and fix a broken heart, yours or theirs. Okay, so Leo, let's, um, let's find out what's playing out for you. Firm foundation, this can be, can be about, wow, um, your money, your work. Okay, the weight is over. Clearly that wanted to come out. Two of Wands reverse, a decision made. No more waiting. We have the Ace of Wands. Wow. Two of Wands, Ace of Wands. We have the Wheel of Fortune, Destiny in this deck. The Two of Cups, Deep Connectedness, Spiritual Connection, Spiritual Union. This can be love, it can be um, other things. Okay, we have Emperor. I feel a very take charge energy, like someone is owning the course of something. And this could be your energy or who you're connected to. Then we have Emotional Withdrawal, the Eight of Cups. And I took them in order, but I can't help but feel, and I've got to, I've got to convey what I get. I feel like there was some sense of, um, like retreat, withdrawal, and this, this could have been in a very significant relationship. It could have even been prompted by, um, someone else's actions but I, I feel like what came out here is sort of the the gist of what you're dealing with and maybe on the heels of I'm, I'm just going to call it like I see it a breakup um, uh, and I this didn't come out in reverse the two of cups but there's a significant connection being highlighted here and a walking away if, if you've had to let something go, it, it could be that it wasn't of your own, um, you know, choice, that maybe someone made that choice for you, or you have waited for something to uh, get fixed and, and that person has disconnected, not coming back. You're waiting. Yep, I'm, I'm piecing it together. And I feel like there's a sense of disappointment about that. And spirit is wanting you to like move ahead, move forward. And yeah, look at that bottom of the deck chariot, totally heartache and loss and rejuvenation. Yeah. So from hurt comes healing. And I, I you know, whether you are expecting this person to come back and make it right, or, or there is something that you're just being prompted, just you know, move forward. Spirit is going to show you how to move through this. Um, the gist of it is you can't stay here. Like if, if, or here and here, maybe that, you know, more appropriately, it's you need to heal your heart. And, and if you are butting heads with someone, if something caused some sort of withdrawal, um, and, and, you know, it, maybe someone found passion elsewhere, maybe there was a, you know, a cheating situation, then you can look at change as, um, you know, the, the, the means to the end, or, or I'm sorry, the cheating as a means to an end. If something was bound to break up, if someone looked elsewhere, that's kind of what I'm getting. It's like time to move on through it delve into the emotional waters of whatever has happened so that you can come to terms with it and heal your heart and move on. This community energy can also be the energy of strong friendships, you know, spiritual friendships. Seven is very spiritual. Look at that, three and four is seven. And I, it, it's kind of like spirit is saying, um, let us help you get to this beautiful, and that's a seven, symbolism, symbolism very joyful place. So Leo, um, wow, this feels so clear to me. I almost don't feel like we need to clarify these, but I do want to look at the 
clarifying deck to see what situation is presenting itself in your life that needs your attention. What is presenting itself that ooh, needs your attention? <laughs> Sometimes they hit me in the face. <laughs> they land on my arm. I'm feeling one more thank you. Okay, we have, wow. Integration, it is temperance. And the temperance energy is about tolerance, a modification, a change in behavior, um, tempering any tendencies maybe toward unhealthy things. I'm just going to say it. We have the devil going with the flow and possibilities. Look at how this person is just immersed in or floating in the waters of, of life. I think what this is, is coming to terms with what has been a negative influence in some way. Here we have the two of wands upright and it's talking about the possibilities for your life. Bottom of the deck, we have the chariot. Was that at the bottom? Uh, yes, it was. It sure was. Another seven. And here's the chariot at the bottom of this deck. In this particular deck, it's called awareness. And the analogy I use is that in life, whatever presents itself to us, we can understand the, um, the chain of events either brought on by ourselves or by other people through self-awareness. And I love this depiction of that particular energy because I feel like once there's that inner clarity that comes to you, then moving forward becomes more effortless. You open yourself up to what could be rather than staying here where you've had to kind of tear off the bandage and deal with some really toxic stuff. Now for some of you, you know, with community and, and the devil, this can be some familial wounding and stuff that hasn't been addressed. You may have found yourself kind of bound up in, in a situation either exacerbated by something through family or, or a significant relationship that um, has put you in a place where you, you just didn't want to find yourself, but you're there. And I, I feel like there's other possibilities opening up for you. Um, and I want to take a look at what is that? What are these possibilities for Leo? Is this about healing? If so, we'll see the star come out. If this is, you know, a, a fresh start, a new beginning, new love, um, it could be. All right, we have firm foundation, justice, and love, harmony. And this could be harmony in existing relationships. If this is about letting go of another relationship, this is opening yourself up to love. And I, I feel like the, the restoration of um, balance in, in the elements of your life is perhaps through harmonious relationships. I'm seeing a correlation there. And it's, it's, it's also telling me that once you find that sort of balance root chakra, I'm getting strong root chakra energy here. Once you have grounded and centered your energy, you bring that into your connections. Kind of a unique greeting, Leo. Um, let's take a look at Spirit's advice for you. Advice for Leo, please. What does Leo need to hear? Vulnerability is strength. Wow. It, so it feels to me like this is navigating the, the tough emotional waters or wading through stuff, stuff, um, to get through it and to heal from it. it you, you don't heal from it if you don't face it. And I, I always say with this hostility energies, this is somebody who's really ready to go to battle. He, he's so ready, he doesn't even care about the armor. He's not choosing not to wear. 
it's like, okay, let me, let me just do this. Let me do this. Spend some time in quiet meditation. Refocus your energy to attain your goal. Try meditation to center yourself. And I'm getting grounding with that. Choose to be with someone who loves you, supports you, and never makes you feel small. I don't even know if I need to extend this one. I'm going to sit with it. If this resonates particularly strongly with you, I'm going to put a long description alongside the link to the extended if I go there. You know if I've decided to by now because you're probably looking. Um, but if this is your story and you want to know how is this going to turn out, um, it could be that you are being shown something really beautiful that's on your path, that something's opening up for you that, you know, makes you feel, um, I don't know, passionate about life again. Maybe a, a relationship or a situation stole that from you. Okay, so I'm just going to sit with this. I'm going to ask Spirit if it's worth extending. So uh, the link will be below if I went there. Leo, bless you, and I hope everything uh, goes well for you. Hang in there. I'll see you in the next video.